Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. And today's RoboBench, I wanna do a little bit of a troubleshooting video on how to pair or repair your wireless receiver with your gray gamepad. So I've got some few things out here in front of me, just basically what I'm gonna need to be able to show this. But let's talk first about why you might wanna do this. Um, Obviously, you're, you get with your Tetrix sets, you get your uh, wireless receiver and your gamepad. They come from the factory paired, they're ready to go. But for whatever reason, say you lose one of these, you can get extras, or perhaps you might have multiple robots in your classroom and you wanna just use one of your gamepads, you can pair these with each other at different times. So that's what I wanna make sure that we walk you through today. So. First thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna need a charged battery. This is a six volt prime battery uh, from the Tetrix Prime set. I'm gonna plug this into my wireless receiver. Now I wanna first point out that there is a sequence of the connection. The negative, um, the black wire from the battery needs to go to the outside of the wireless receiver. Now there is a diagram on the label of the receiver if you look real closely right here. And it shows that the negative is on this side, positive is in the center. The signal wire for a servo is on the inside. Uh, once I get this paired, I'll, I'll connect a servo so you can see what that looks like. But I'm gonna start by plugging in my battery. Again, black to the outside right here at the top. And when I do that, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see, I get a slowly red flashing light, or a slow flashing red light. When I power on my receiver, uh, switch right here, if the two devices are paired, you'll see that I get a solid green light here, my red light turns solid here. That is showing that I have a paired connection between the two, pretty simple. But so what happens if uh, I need to repair or pair a different device? Start by making sure this is powered off. I have power. Again, you see that because it doesn't find a receiver, this is flashing. If I turn this around, you'll see that there is a small switch, button switch that can be indented on the side. Take something small like your uh, mini ball driver from your set. And if you simply press and hold that in for uh, a couple of seconds, you see the light will momentarily turn a solid red and then begin more of a, a, a rapid flash. When we get this rapid flash on your receiver, you're ready to pair to a different controller. Again, power that controller on. You'll get a solid green light here, but you can see my red light continues to flash on my receiver. There is a connect button on the gamepad. I'm gonna press and hold that. Get a tone another tone, and all of a sudden you see that now I have a solid red light. This, these devices are now paired. I can demonstrate that by plugging in a servo. So I have a servo here um, with, again, the three plug wire, uh, black, red, and yellow. Black, like we said, is gonna go to the outside, red in the middle, yellow to the inside. I'm gonna pick one of my channels, plug that in just like that, you should have seen a little bit of a servo jump. Now when I actually move my joystick, one of my channels, you can see that I am actually controlling the servo. So I have successfully paired these two devices. They're ready to go if this was mounted on a robot. That's really all there is to it. Again, the main thing to remember, there is a sequence or a, a direct orientation of the wires on how they need to go into the receiver. Black on the outside, red in the middle, yellow or the signal wire on the inside, very important. And then watch your lights as well. Make sure you get solid lights on both devices showing there's paired. Resources, you can always find, and this is part of the builder's guide that's available for download at www.pitsco.com at the uh, product page for the base set, both the Prime and the Max base RC set. You can find that in a PDF or printable uh, format there, also, also the video. So like we said, you can always go to the product page, look at the bottom of the product page, you'll find extra resources, everything you need to know about that specific product. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us.